Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Chepstow Racecourse here on Saturday. It is January the 6th, 2018. We're going to look at the stakes races on today's program from Chepstow, including the Welsh Grand National. But before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at HorseracingKit5 for more selections for racecourses around the world. So let's get on to today's stakes action from Chepstow Races 3 and 4, the 135 and the featured 205, which is the Welsh Grand National. Starting off with race number 3 now, the 135 from Chepstow. Um, these races, this card is a, a makeup card. They were supposed to run this, these races on Boxing Day, but because of the very bad weather they, they've been having, um, they had to cancel or abandon that uh, card, and they're running it today. Um, and this third race um, was supposed to be run that day, like I said. Uh, it's the Coral Future Champions Finale Juvenile Hurdle, Grade 1 Race Class when Horses Gold for a Purse of $61,500. That's in the American currency, so don't get confused. It's for four-year-olds here, Field of Five Horses. Is going the 3,200 meter trip or two miles over the hurdle course. My original pick in this race um, actually is not running today, who I had a few weeks ago. Um, but I did find my way to the three horse Sussex Ranger. I really like him in this spot. I'm going to go 3 4 2 in the TriCast or the Trifecta. 3 4 2 TriCast. Trifecta. Top pick number three Sussex Ranger. 3 to 1. Jamie Moore is on the Scary Moore train. Four year old going by Hat Trick. Um, not a lot of times you see a Hat Trick runner over the hurdles. Um, um, but, um, you know, he, he's uh, proven himself that he can run over the hurdles, and he likes a very wet ground, which he'll get today, for sure. But uh, most recently, uh, on the 8th of December, uh, Tingle Creek weekend at Sandown, two miles in the grade two juvenile, in the, excuse me, in the class two juvenile hurdle. This horse won by 14 lengths that day, carrying 159 pounds, which was the second highest. You know, he just won for fun, won around the race course very easily, an all-around great victory, uh, you know, off of about a two-month layoff, um, you know, before before that, at uh, Fontwell, 6th of October, good ground, two miles and a quarter in a class four juvenile hurdle. Horse won by eight lengths. Again, he had low weight, he jumped for fun, and he had a very easy victory on that good ground. Um, you know, b before that, over the summer, he was running over the flat uh, in the stayers races. His last flat stayer race came on the 13th of September. Kempton's on the uh, poly track, two miles class four handicap. Horse finished third by one and a half lengths. You know, he had a good post draw from the inside, closed up well, just missed. It wasn't a half bad run. Um, and then a good what, two miles on the 25th of August, class five handicap for the stayers. Horse finished third by four and a half lengths. You know, he, he just couldn't get that good closing kick that day. He, he did win at Linkfield, staying a mile three quarters over the summer on the turf very easily. Um, you know, he, he's proven himself over wet ground. He likes it going back to his flat career. Um, he should do well here today. I think the ba the favorite's very beatable. And at 3-1, to one, this is the best price you're going to get in this field, so watch out for him. So to recap my bets for the third, the 135 from Chepstow, it's the Coral Future Champions Finale Juvenile Hurdle. I'm going to go with the three-horse Sussex Ranger. I'm going to go 3-4-2 in the TriCast of the Trifecta. So now let's get on to race number four, the Future 205 from Chepstow. It is the Coral Welsh Grand National Handicap Chase. Class 1 race, Go. it's a grade 3 race for Class 1 horses, going for a purse of $184,500. Again, that's in the American currency, so don't get confused. It's for five-year-olds and upwards. Field of 20 horses going the distance of ground of two, excuse me, three miles and 11 sixteenths over the chase course. My top pick in this race, I like the number 12 horse here as the top pick. Number 12, who is Mystery. Hopefully I'm saying that right. I'm going to go 12-3-2 in the TriCast of the Trifecta. 12-3-2 TriCast Trifecta. Top pick number 12, Mystery. 7-1, to 10 year old gelding by Goldwell. Robert Dooney is on this... Um, is on on this uh, ten year old gelding by uh, Goldwell. Um, most recently, this horse had a, a race on the 18th of March. Not, well, not mo not recently, but it's been a few months, uh, about ten months now. Uh, that came at Toxter in the uh, Midlands Grand National, four miles and an eighth. Uh, you know, he finished second by one and a half lengths. So he was carrying 155 pounds, which is good weight. He just missed. Chased a spud, who was back in this one today. Just jumped well and just. Stayed going well, but this horse had a decent second place finish. Before that, the 25th of February at Newcastle, four miles eighth, 
handicap chase class two event horse won by four lengths again low weight he stayed every bit of it he just ran easy an all-around great race and then at Plumpton, january 2nd of 2017 three miles 9 16 class three handicap chase horse didn't finish the race that day he pulled up it was a very horrible day at Plumpton that day very wet wet ground so he just couldn't get a piece of it but he has proven himself over heavy to soft to yielding ground he likes the wet stuff and um, he's going to get it today if he's fresh enough i think he can and run a big one um, at uh, seven to one. I know it's not the best price in this field with it being 20 horses, but I think you can uh, do wonders with this race. So watch out for this horse here today. So to recap my bets for the fourth, the 205 from Chapstow, it's the Grade Three Welsh Grand National. Gonna go with the 12 horse mystery. Gonna go 12-3-2 in the TriCast of the Trifecta. So good luck to all. Please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid Five. Good luck.